dear students let us continue the next class so whatever we have discussed the concept regarding complex numbers modulus amplitude form everything now the class is depends upon the locus of sums example 3 example 4 page number 23 locus of sums are there complex numbers examples एज ट्वेंटी थ्री काम ट्वेंटी फोर थर्ड क्वेश्चन इफ द एम्पलीट्यूड इफ द एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ जेड माइनस टू बाई जेड माइनस सिक्स फाइव इज इक्वल टू फाइव बाई टू find its locus find its locus so z is equal to x plus i by is a complex number here in the concept of locus concept in first year first chapter locus we have learnt that if let p x comma y be any point in the locus that was a term by habituated we had written for every sum in the similar way here In the complex number, during calculating the locus sums, you should write let z is equal to x plus i by e is any complex number. Simply let z is equal to x plus i by e also be correct. Students, whatever the sums we have learnt in previous class, in whatever the sums we are learning here. And whatever the sums we are going to be learning tomorrow class, each and every sum is there in object. So in object we should not write like this in slow manner, right? In direct steps manner we can be able to understand and we can do in direct method. In mains and M set also you can face such problems. That is a good exercise. Now you can write here x plus i by minus x plus i by minus. By x plus i by minus six i. Now x minus two, x minus two plus i by. Always first of all you should write real, later you write imaginary. X plus i you take common here, it becomes y minus six. Now rationalizing the denominator that is nothing but multiplying and dividing with the conjugate complex. So x minus i into y minus six whole by x minus i into y minus six divided. Multiply each and every term with numerator. X numerator to numerator I am discussing. X minus two into x plus not plus minus i into x minus two into y minus six plus i into y into x. Minus i square minus i square y into y minus six i square y into y minus six four by four by denominator formula y plus i b to y minus i b comes up with x a square plus b square so x square plus y minus six whole square that is equal to Now you can write x square minus two x. I'm multiplying with x. Next, the real part I'm discussing with you. Minus i square becomes a plus y into y minus six. So plus y square minus six y. Plus y square minus six y. If I say that is the real part, and take a plus i common here, we can write x y minus of. X minus two into y minus six whole by x square plus of y minus six whole square. So that is equal to x square plus y square minus two x minus six y. It will be break. I can put like this plus i into 
plus i into xy minus of xy minus 6x minus 6x minus 2y minus of minus plus 12 whole by x square plus y minus 6 whole square these are four marks I am three sums x square plus y minus 6 whole square that is equal to x square plus y square minus 2x minus 6y plus i into xy minus xy really cancel minus of minus this is plus 6x this is plus 2y minus 12. Okay. I into xy minus x square cancel minus of minus plus 6x plus 2y minus 12. Whole by x square plus of y minus 6 whole square. x y x square cancels. This is the real part and this is the real Now, amplitude of this complex number is y by 2. So, amplitude of complex number is tan inverse y by x. Amplitude. Amplitude means theta is equal to tan inverse of y by x. That the one I am writing as tan inverse of imaginary part by real part. Imaginary part by real part. Or you can understand if this is the total is cos theta plus i sin theta concept. So cos theta value, cos theta, whenever it is pi by 2 cos 90 plus i sin 90 concept. So this is completely 0, this is 1. So x 6x plus 2 by minus 12 to sin 90 concept. So let us understand in this model. Right then, theta is equal to tan inverse of I am writing capital A capital X is equal to pi by T. So, capital Y by capital X is equal to tan pi by T. Tan of pi by 2 is undefined. So, y by X you write in the form of 1 by 0. Y by X in the form of 1 by 0. So, X means here imaginary real part and Y means here imaginary part. So imaginary part, not only 1 by 0, 2 by 0, 3 by 0, 4 by 0, anything by 0. So you can understand here, whenever it is a pi by 2, amplitude is pi by 2, this is a positive by 0. So imaginary part is a positive. You can write imaginary part is positive, real part is 0. Real part is equal to 0. That is x square plus y square minus 2x minus 6y equal to 0. This is a locus. This is a locus. Or uh, imaginary part simply to write greater than 0. Whenever a given pi by 2, you can understand it is not exceed 90 degrees. Of course, it is pi by 2, so you can understand it is not 3 by 2. So don't go for third quadrant or anything. So think in first quadrant concept only. That is why simply greater than 0 I put, not less than 0. Now you can understand 6x plus 2y minus 12 greater than 0. If you divide with 2, you can write 3x plus y. 3x plus y minus 6 greater than 0. Not greater than or equal to. Even, even greater than or equal to 0 also. Given the explanation, the separate diameter not containing the original exclude the points, hence this is equal to the purpose. It is correct only simply leave it. Of course, you no need to write that one also. Whenever so many staff members used to say, Tan inverse y by x only. Whenever tan inverse y by x, we take graph for integration like this. 
x y y value zero is equal to x of zero four x is equal to zero what is x here here for simply the body is equal to zero even though you write you will be getting same marks that is four marks but this is for objective wise now let us discuss about the fourth question it is theory for the circle equation equation of circle in standard form theory Show that the equation of circle, the equation of circle in complex plane, that is argand plane, in complex plane is of the form is of the form z z bar. Z Z bar plus B Z bar plus B bar Z plus C is equal to zero. B belongs to complex number. C belongs to real number. Good, good. Very good. Capital C means complex number and small C is a simple real number. Now let us write. Let Z is equal to x plus I by T is any complex. Consolidated complex number we said that it is denoted with the letter Z bar. So Z bar is a complex consolidated complex number. We write x minus i y. Now Z Z bar you write Z into Z bar. Z into Z bar becomes x plus i y into x minus i y. This is other form a plus b into a minus b a square plus b square, so it can be written as x square plus y square. Now, z plus z bar, z plus z bar gives x plus i y plus x minus i y i y i y get cancelled. It is two x. So two x is equal to we got z plus z bar. Therefore. If we need x, you can write here x is equal to z plus z bar by two. X is equal to z plus z bar by two. Now, z minus z bar. Let us consider z minus z bar. Z minus z bar means here x plus i by minus x plus i by. X X will be getting cancelled here to I Y the number. Z minus Z bar we got to I Y. Now I am discussing about two Y. Two Y is equal. Two Y is equal to Z minus Z bar by I. Z minus Z bar by I. Y is equal to z minus z bar by q i. These are all objective concepts. Y is equal to z minus z bar by q i. Now, two y I am writing z minus z bar by i multiplying with i to numerator and denominator. So i into z minus z bar by i i square divided. I into z minus z bar by i square. Write like this: i z minus i z bar. I z minus. Let us write i into z minus z bar. No, you will multiply here. I into z minus z bar whole by minus two. Minus one taken common into numerator. You can write here i into z bar minus z. That's all. I into z bar minus z is equal to two y. Therefore, two y is equal to I into z bar minus z. Z bar minus z is two. Now we know that standard equation of circle. We know that standard equation of circle in the concept of plane. The other times we discussed about the standard equation of circle. X square plus y square. 
plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0 x square plus y square plus 2 get plus 2 get plus c equal to 0 now x square plus y square you can write as z z bar that is equal to write like this here z z bar that is x square plus y square concept plus 2gx right here g into in terms of 2x we got 2x we got here so z plus z bar 2x means z plus z bar plus 2y f you write and you can write it instead of 2i i into i into z minus z bar minus z i into z bar minus z plus c is equal to 0 so we are converting the complex number we are converting the equation of circuit into complex numbers that is that implies z z bar plus multiply with g g z plus g z plus g z bar plus i f z bar i f z bar minus i f z plus c is equal to 0 next one better to take common so g z write like this take common z in this take common z bar in this that implies z z bar plus z you take common it becomes g plus i f g minus i z minus n. Next, take common z bar within the brackets. You can write z plus i f. z plus i f plus c is equal to 0. According to our answer, whenever z bar is there, coef is b. So, put here this is as b. Whenever it becomes b, this becomes b bar by conjugate complex number concept. Put z plus if is equal to b. Comma immediately you can write z minus if is equal to b bar. Therefore, required equation of a circle or complex circle. Required equation of circle that is in complex plane. Required equation of circle in complex plane is z z bar z z bar plus b z bar b bar z plus b z bar so b okay b z bar plus c is equal to 0 that's all this is the proof of the equation Next fifth question, page number twenty four. Page twenty four, example five. Show that the complex number Z satisfying Show that the complex number Z satisfying Z square plus Z bar square is equal to 2 constitute constitute a hyperbola constitute a hyperbola Constitute a hyperbola let z is equal to x plus i y. Immediately you can take z bar is equal to x minus i y. Here L H is not L H is given. Given you can take. 
given value z square plus z bar square is equal to two. Instead of z, you substitute x plus i y, and z bar you substitute x minus i y. So x plus i y whole square plus x minus i y whole square equal to two. Let us remember the formula. A plus B whole square plus A minus B whole square is equal to two into A square plus B square. So that implies this is two into simply X square plus B square is Y square. I square Y square is equal to two to X cancels. It becomes X square minus Y square. That's all. X square minus Y square equal to A square is the standard equation of rectangular hypotenuse. Writing here, standard equation of rectangular hyperbola. Standard equation of rectangular hyperbola is X square minus Y square equal to A square. Therefore, the locus represents the locus constitutes a hyperbola. Whether it is general hyperbola or rectangular hyperbola, it is, doesn't matter. Simply, the locus should get in the form of hyperbola. Now, let us discuss about exercise one C. Complex numbers A twenty four exercise one C. First question express the following complex number in modulus amplitude form. In which position we should consider the angle? Clear explanation I given in previous class. So first question everything I am giving homework. Of course fourth question minus one minus i root three we have discussed it. in first only page number twenty one point three point one zero eight one. That is enough. Do the sum as homework. Now let us discuss about the second second one simplify minus two i root three plus i root two plus i root one plus i simply multiply. Four numbers are there. Multiply and obtain modulus of complex number. Example: total multiplication you get one plus twelve by modulus is root of one square plus root of twelve square. Root of one square plus twelve square. One forty five over one. Like that you do the sum. Now third question. Third question. Simple. If z not equal to zero, very good. Argument z plus argument z bar. If z is equal to x plus i by is a non-zero complex number. So whenever it is a zero complex number, argument they be by by two. Of course, in other words, no problem. Cos ninety plus i sin i. It is not correct. So non-zero complex. Already is mentioning that z not equal to zero. It is. Non-zero complex number. Whenever z is equal to x plus i, it is non-zero complex number. Argument means simple notation is nothing but this. So for z bar, z bar is equal to x minus i y. Here you can understand z is equal to x plus i y meaning is modulus amplitude form is r into cos theta plus i sin theta. So z bar is equal to x minus i y. You can understand as r into cos theta minus i sin theta. As I said before in before class, the formula this is cis theta and this is cis of minus theta. So argument z you can written as theta plus of this is minus theta. So theta minus theta equal to zero. That's all. That is the sum. 
Fourth question, z1 is equal to minus 1. If z1 is equal to minus 1, comma, z2 is equal to z2 is equal to minus i. Find argument of find argument of z1 dot z argument of z1 dot z now z1 is equal to you can write minus 1 plus i into 0 next okay let it be first of all you can this one minus 1 means for cross first of all you can understand always the first net indicates a cross theta and always second net indicates sin theta so cross how many degrees becomes minus 1 cos 180 it is the maximum value cos 180 so cos 5 plus you write here i sin 5 therefore directly you can write argument z1 is equal to 5 students you can understand sin 5 equal to 0 therefore argument z1 is equal to 5 now z z2 minus i given you can understand this one as 0 plus of I into minus 1. So, for here it is minus 1. Sin how many degrees becomes minus 1? Sin of minus 90. Here, yeah. you write sin of minus 5. Of course, for cos 5 by 2 or minus 5 by 2 into it is 0. So, therefore, argument z2 right here. Argument z2 is equal to minus 5 by 2. Now, Write the formula argument of z1 dot z2. It is z1 into z2. Whenever into is there, simply you write the formula plus argument z1 plus argument z2. So it is pi plus of minus pi by 2. It is pi minus pi by 2. That is equal to pi by 2 is the answer for the argument of z1 dot z2. Now, fifth question. Z1 is equal to minus 1 and Z2 is equal to i. Do homework. Argument is Z2. Z1 equal to minus 1 and Z2 is equal to i. He is asking argument of Z1 by Z2. Write the formula. Argument of Z1 by Z2 is argument Z1 minus argument Z2. You can write. It is minus 1. Pi and it is simple pi by 2. Pi minus pi by 2 becomes pi by 2 answer. Do the work. Fifth question, not fifth question. It is third question. It is third second. This is third first. This is third third question. Now discuss about fourth question. If cos alpha plus i sin 2 alpha. Cos alpha plus i sin 2 alpha into cos 2 beta cos 2 beta plus i sin 2 beta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta cos theta plus i sin find value of theta find value of theta LHS is given. Not LHS is given. I said that the cos alpha is not correct. Cos 2 alpha is correct. Cos theta plus i sin theta becomes cis theta. So right here, cis of 2 alpha. The cis of 2 beta is equal to cis theta. I said the formula cis alpha dot beta is equal to cis alpha dot cis beta equal cis of alpha plus theta. So cis theta one dot cis theta is equal to cis of theta one plus theta two. Formula we discuss. Right here, cis of two alpha plus two beta is equal to cis theta. That the meaning itself is directly you can write, otherwise expand like this. Cos of 2 alpha plus 2 beta plus i sin of 2 alpha plus 2 beta is equal to cos theta plus i sin theta. Cos theta plus i sin theta. 
comparing here real or imaginary points comparing real or imaginary anything you can compare compare comparing real or imaginary points we get theta is equal to 2 taken comma 2 into alpha plus beta theta is equal to 2 into alpha plus beta plus i is equal to r into cross theta plus i sin theta find the value of theta in the radian by graph multiply the and denominator divide into two like modulus amplitude formula right 2 into root 3 by 2 plus i by 2 so 2 into cos 30 plus i sin that is simply theta is equal to pi by 6 to do the question and Fourth one, third question. Fourth one, second one, homework. Fourth one, third one, x plus i by v is equal to 6 alpha dot 6 beta. x plus i by is equal to 6 alpha dot 6 beta. Find x square plus y square. It is also a simple question. X plus I by is equal to the formula cis alpha dot cis beta. You can write cis of alpha plus beta. So compare. Write like this. X plus I by is equal to cis meaning cos plus I sin. So cos of alpha plus beta plus I sin of alpha plus beta. Compare real comma imaginary. Compare real and imaginary parts of both sides. Compare real and imaginary parts so x becomes cos of alpha plus beta. x gives cos of alpha plus beta and y gives sin of alpha plus beta. He is asking x square plus y square x square plus y square meaning cos square of alpha plus beta plus sin square of alpha plus beta. We know that it is 1. Cos square theta plus sin square theta concept. Now, fourth question, this is objective level 1 concept. Same question is there. Z2 by Z1 is an imaginary number. Z2 by Z1 is equal to imaginary number. Imaginary number. Find modulus of 2 Z1 modulus of 2 Z1 plus Z2 whole by 2 Z1 minus Z2. 2z1 minus z2. That's all. This one you can write as divide with 2z1. Because in this instance, z2 by z1 is an imaginary. So it is simply IB form. Then 1 plus write like this. z2 by 2 plus z2 by z2. Right here also 2 minus z2. Given Z2 by Z1 is equal to simply IB, IB or IA or anything because it is imaginary part. That implies modulus of 2 plus IB, right? Since you given that it is imaginary number, simply not I should write I means imaginary part with B or A or X or anything like that. 2 is a real number. 2 plus IB by 2 minus IB. Let us write the formula modulus of Z1 by Z2 is equal to separate mod we can take. Modulus Z1 by Z2. So root of component square. 
प्लस कॉम्पोनेंट स्क्वायर प्लस कॉम्पोनेंट स्क्वायर में कॉम्पोनेंट स्क्वायर प्लस कॉम्पोनेंट स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ 4 प्लस बेस स्क्वायर में रूट ऑफ 4 प्लस बेस स्क्वायर इज 1 सिंपली द आंसर 1 सच कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स इज कॉल्ड एज यूनी मॉड्यूलर कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स इफ दिस इज द मोस्ट आईएमपी आईपीटी क्वेश्चन टू मोस्ट आई एम टू मार्क्स रूट थ्री प्लस वन रूट थ्री प्लस नॉट वन इट इज आई रूट थ्री प्लस आई होल पावर हंड्रेड इज इक्वल टू टू पावर नाइनटी नाइन इनटू ए प्लस आई बी ए प्लस आई बी शो दैट ए स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री स्क्वायर इक्वल टू फोर Root three plus i whole power hundred equal to root power ninety into a plus i. Show that a square plus b square is equal to four. Given root three plus i whole power hundred is equal to two power ninety nine into a plus i b. For LHS, we can convert into polar average form. So better to write here two into root three by two. Two into root three by two plus i by two total whole power hundred. That is equal to two power ninety nine into a plus i b. We can write two power hundred into. Cos thirty root three by two also we can write. Okay, let us write cos thirty. Oh, Dimor theorem is there. Before going to discuss Dimor theorem, now one we got Dimor theorem. Cos thirty degrees plus I sin thirty degrees. Whole power hundred. Is equal to two power ninety nine into a plus i b. So two power this one get cancelled. D power theorem formula. D M O I B R E S. D M O I B R E S. Cos theta plus i sin theta. Cos theta plus i sin theta. Whole power n is equal to cos n theta plus i sin n theta. So that hundred will be so here two. So two into the that hundred will be multiplied this thirty. Cos three thousand six hundred degree plus pi sine three thousand six hundred thirty or no three thousand. This is three thousand is equal to a plus n. So a means two cos three thousand. Two power ninety nine. If the two we multiply, cos that is the thing will get cos three thousand. Here we should convert that. Cos three thousand degrees. Cos three thousand six hundred minus six hundred. Cos of minus theta is equal to cos theta. So cos six hundred becomes. Cos 360 plus 240. Cos 360 meaning it is zero. So cos 240 you can write as cos 180 plus 60. It is minus cos 60. It is minus 1 by 2. In the similar way, sin 3000. Sin 3000 you can understand. Sin 3000 600 minus 600 it is minus sin 600. So minus sine six hundred can be written as minus sine of three sixty plus two forty. So minus sine of three sixty plus two forty becomes one eighty plus sixty. 
sin 180 plus theta minus sin theta minus half minus c plus so it becomes sin 60 value root 3 by 8. Now we can change the value. That implies 2 into cos 3000 we got minus 1 plus i into we got this is root 3 by 2 is equal to simply a plus i into that implies minus 1 plus i root 3 is equal to a plus i into Therefore, a is equal to minus 1, b is equal to root 3. He is discussing that a square plus b square is equal to 4 root. So, a square plus b square is equal to 1 minus 1 whole square plus of root 3 whole square. That is equal to 1 plus 3 4. Thank you, sir. Now, fifth question, mod that is equal to 1, simply x plus y square, that one you do. Fifth, second, third, fourth, I'll say. Fifth, second, third, fourth. Second one, amplitude of amplitude of z minus one is pi by two. Amplitude of z minus one by two is pi by two. Find its locus. That means locus of z. Let z is equal to x plus i y. Now z minus 1 is equal to x plus i y minus 1. That is x minus 1 plus i y. Write like this. Amplitude formula theta is equal to tan inverse of imaginary part by real part imaginary part by real part so here imaginary part is y and imaginary real part is x minus 1 that is pi by 2 be given that implies you write y by x minus 1 is equal to tan pi by 2 tan pi by 2 is nothing but not defined so y by x minus 1 is equal to 1 by 0 constant you can write that implies by cross multiplication you can get x minus 1 equal to 0 comma y greater than 0 or simply write leave it x minus 1 is equal to 0 of course y greater than 0 also you can write yeah exactly y greater than 0 is correct because it is pi by 2, maximum value 1 is simply greater than 0, not only 1 by 0, maybe 2 by 0, 3 by 0, 4 by 0, 8 we can find. Next, fifth, third question. It is IMP2 box. Argument Z1 bar. Argument Z1 bar is equal to pi by 5. Comma, argument Z2 is equal to pi by 3. Find argument z1 plus argument z2. Argument z1 plus argument z2. Z1, whenever z1 bar is a complex number, z1 is its conjugate complex number. So for a complex number that is equal to x plus i by cos theta plus i sin theta is the polar form. In that theta is the argument or amplitude. For the conjugate complex number z bar is equal to x minus i by cos theta minus i sin theta is the conjugate 
complex number and polar form of conjugate complex number. There the amplitude is minus theta. So whether phi by phi is the argument of conjugate, minus phi by phi is the argument of original. Now directly you can write argument of z1 is equal to minus phi by phi. You write it in the bracket simply condition you write. And simply you write argument z2. Argument z2 is equal to phi by phi. He is asking to us that direct argument z1 plus argument z2. Now argument z1 plus argument z2. Argument z1 we got minus phi by phi. This is z2. Argument z1 minus phi by phi and this is plus phi by 3. Take an LCM, it is 15 and it is minus 3 pi plus this is 5 pi. So this is 2 pi by 15. 2 pi by 15 is the value. Next, fourth question z is equal to 1 plus 2i. Y 1 minus of 1 minus i whole square. 1 plus 2 i by 1 minus of 1 minus i whole square. That is equal to here 1 plus 2 i by x span 1 minus i whole square. This is 1 by a minus b whole square concept. 1 minus 2 i plus i square 1 plus i square will be getting cancelled. So here 1 plus 2i by 1, 1 plus 2i. So simply it is 1. It is 1 by 1. That the z is equal to 1, we can written as 1 plus i into 0. So you can write z is equal to cos 0 plus i sin 0. Argument z is equal to 0. Zero degrees dimension simply zero or zero degrees dimension. Roman number one completed. Now simplifying is there one question I say another question will be there. Roman number two. Page twenty-five exercise one C. complex number and find their modulus. Simplify comma find modulus. Let us try second one. Second row one, first one, second sum. One plus i whole cube whole by two plus i into one plus two i. Write the formula. A plus B whole cube, A cube plus 3A square B plus 3A B square plus B cube whole by multiply like this 2 plus this is 2I plus I. So this is 3I plus 2I square. You can write directly minus 2 because 2I square becomes minus 2 distance will be getting cancelled. So here you can write 1 plus 3I. 1 plus 3, this is minus 3. i cube you can write as i square into i. i square is nothing but minus 1, so it is minus i whole by 3 i. Now 1 minus 3 becomes minus 2 plus 2 i whole by 3 i. 2 taken from 3 i. Modulus overall. 2 by 3 you take from right minus 1 plus i by simply i for modulus modulus you can write separate numerator by denominator taken common to by take root of 1 plus 1 by root 1 so 2 root 2 by 3 2 root 2 by 3 is the modulus of this question
टू प्लस टू आई बाई फाइव ठीक है वन प्लस टू आई वन प्लस आई होल के में टू प्लस आई एंड वन प्लस थ्री टू प्लस टू टू जब फोर तो दिस इज़ अ फाइव आई स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज़ अ फाइव आई दिस इज़ अ फाइव टू रूट टू में फाइव में था नाउ टुडे आई एम बी क्वेश्चन आई एम बी टू मार्क्स वन माइनस आई इनटू टू माइनस आई इनटू थ्री माइनस आई स्वाल वन माइनस एम बाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स माइनस आई बाई शो दैट टू डॉट फाइव डॉट टेन डॉट स्वाल वन प्लस एम स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू एक्स प्लस एम स्क्वायर यू कैन फेस द सेम क्वेश्चन नॉट इन टू लेवल वन लेवल टू आल्सो सेम क्वेश्चन इज देयर गिव एन यू रे� one minus i put a bracket here and two minus i and three minus i so on one minus n by is equal to x minus i now you are right multiply multiply by consecutive complex numbers Simply you are taking the concept of conjugate complex numbers. Conjugate complex numbers both sides for everything respectively. So I am writing here one minus i into one plus i put in a box here. Here two minus i into two plus i put in a box. Three minus i into three plus i. So one minus n i into one plus n i that is equal to the concept is x minus i by into x plus i. So taking conjugate complex numbers in respective manner. Now we know the formula a square plus b square. So it is one plus one it is two. So four plus one it is five. Nine plus one it is ten. So on at last. It is one plus n square is equal to constant a plus i b into n minus i b a square plus b square. So we can write x square plus y square. This is the most IMP two marks question. The concept is multiplying the conjugate complex number both sides. Okay, students, we have completed exercise one C grammar number two. Two questions. Let us going to discuss about the log sums in next class. That is tomorrow class.